Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, November the 6th. It's the 23rd week after Pentecost, and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. Psalm 27. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, I shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing that I have desired of you, one thing that I seek, that I may dwell in your house all the days of my life, to behold your beauty and to inquire in your temple. For in the time of trouble you will hide me in your pavilion, in the secret of your tabernacle, and you will set me high upon a rock. And my head shall be lifted above my enemies who surround me. And I offer sacrifices of joy in your tabernacle. I sing, yes, I sing praises to you. Hear me when I cry aloud to you. Have mercy on me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not put me away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, you will take me up. Teach me your way, my beloved, and lead me in a plain path. Do not deliver me to my enemies, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out cruelty. I would have fainted unless I had believed I would see your goodness in the land of the living. I wait on you. If I am courageous, you will strengthen my heart. As for me, I wait on you. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 14, beginning at verse 22. Jesus walks on the water. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat, and go on ahead to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came, walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It's a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Jesus heals the sick at Gennesaret. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. And after the people of that place recognized him, they sent word throughout the region and brought all who were sick to him, and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. Here ends the lesson.
Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy always be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God, our light and salvation, grant us the patience and courage to wait upon you. And forsake us not, that our faith may be increased and our hearts be strengthened, and we may dwell in your house all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.